So, this the topic today, which we've yeah. chosen, is is MBA clean bold. Okay, I, I don't know whether you kind of. I saw that. Yeah. So. I think it's a sort of a loaded question in both yes. sides, and I think it was more with a question mark. Um, and it's a big question mark. I mean, how relevant do we think uh, management degrees are today? Mm. How has that helped people in life? And actually, it's now becoming a million dollar question for a lot of people because it's about in the middle of their life, if they haven't done it, then yes. they feel, am I left out? Do I need to go in back in there? And management is one element because now today MBAs are not just about HR, marketing and finance, it's about Great. all the careers of tomorrow, it's about business analytics, it's about so many other things. I'm so, so, I'm so glad you said about careers of tomorrow. I'm actually the wrong person to ask this question because it changed my life. It changed my life because I entered an institute that to me is still a temple. So I'm a bit biased towards it. Even today, all those years later, I passed out in 85, we are now 2019. When I pass through the gates, I bow and, and go in because it, it changed my life. So I'm, I'm a little biased from that point of view. But I, I think an MBA is a passport. It cannot be a prison. A lot of people ask me, so you did an MBA and you wasted a seat, didn't you? It, I can't call it an MBA. It was PGDM for a long time. It was a postgraduate diploma. Now it's an MBA. And I, I believe an, an MBA is a very well-structured general education. You cannot say, I'm coming out now and you know what, I can do funds flow statements better than anybody else and I can do market segmentation better than anybody else. It, it teaches you a certain way of approaching things. What did, what did an MBA teach me? It teaches you a problem solving method. It teaches you to take a situation, break it down and say, right, this is what it is. Here's a system. This is how it's going to solve issues. One of the problems with doing an MBA from, from recognized top 10, top 15 schools is it tends to slot you into certain careers. It's now in the last four or five years that they're talking about entrepreneurship, that they're actually having incubation labs, that they're encouraging you to, to uh, have good ideas and start on your own. But earlier when we were passing out, we were actually trained to fit into certain slots in companies. In my case, I don't, I don't think I learned such a lot because I was a slightly immature, slightly gauche, 22 year old kid who'd come from a soft engineering course into what, are the, what was then the toughest MBA course in India, among the toughest of all time. Tough and to get in and tough to pass oh, out, both. It was very tough to get in, but my biggest achievement was getting out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because I've spent many nights thinking, what if I'm sent home? Because my father was so excited that I'd got in there. Uh, I mean, I was excited too, but he was even more excited than I was. What if I have to go back? And I spent my first six, eight months only thinking of averting failure, which is a very negative way of doing it. But you learn through, through your mistakes. If I'd been positive, I would, have done, I would have done even better in my first year. But what it taught me was, it taught me two things. One is the people around me were so incredibly, almost, almost unfairly gifted. And so it gave me a complex, but I learned from being with them. But it taught you that there is an approach to everything. And that if you follow that approach, you're all right. But it's not a prison. If you get out of an MBA, it doesn't mean you lovely, only have to be that. That's a lovely phrase you yeah. use, that it's a passport, not a prison. But I think a lot of learning is yeah. about that. Yes. It's not something that should put you in a bind in any case, but it's something that yeah. you should feel liberated about. And that's what also, you're... Ronnie, it's not the job of the teacher to teach you. It's your job to learn from the teacher. Yeah. It's not your job to learn. So I hear a lot of people say, you know what, the teacher didn't teach me anything. Excuse me, but what did you learn from the teacher? Did you try to learn from the teacher or did you say, you know what, I'm sitting back, dude, come on, it's your job to teach me. No, it's your job to learn from the teacher. So, yeah. So, so if you had to do it all over again, you'd, you'd do it. Well, for a start, I'd work before I went there. 